Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. Good evening. How are you? Hello. Hello. Hi, Geraldina. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Very good. Hello, Sochi. How are you? Hello. How are you? Excellent. And you? I'm fine. Very good. Hello, Flores. How are you? No, uh, no, I can't hear you. Mm -mm. We, okay, now I can hear you. Yeah. I can hear you. All I'm right. Fine, thank you. All right, excellent guys. Okay, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, everybody. Roxy, Claudia, Chamba, Maria Elena, Geraldina, iPhone de Alma, Roxana Cornejo. Welcome, everybody. Today, we are going to go ahead and move on. Hello, Geraldina. Hello, Claudia. Hello, Carlos. We're going to get started on the first section, which is going to be from this section right here. Yesterday, we stopped on the alphabet. <coughs> so today, <coughs> excuse me, my throat hurts. We're going to get started practicing the alphabet. We're going to listen to the video about the alphabet. I'm going to ask you to connect to your microphone. You go ahead and say aloud. It's recording at this time. Once you're finished recording, you click stop. You can listen to it. And um, after you do that, you can save. Um, click here to save. It's going to give you this link. And this is the link that you're going to copy. And then you're going to share this link on our discussion forums. Hi, everyone. In this class, we're going to learn the English alphabet. We'll do this by listening and repeating. Let's get started. Um, on the screen, you can see the English alphabet. I would like for you to listen to me and observe the way I move my lips and my mouth for each letter. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now, I would like for you to listen to a quick audio program and repeat. It's recommended that you practice as many times as necessary, 10 at least, and make sure that you are pronouncing correctly. Listen and practice. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, 
L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z Now, what I would like for you to do is to practice expressing your name and spell it out. For example, my name is Joe. That's J O E. Now, let me go ahead and write that. Uh, my name is Joe. And we're going to spell it out. That's J O E. My last name is Science. Okay. And let me go ahead and spell it out. That's S A E N Z. Spell the names of at least 10 folks. For example, your children, wife, parents, etc. I'll give a quick example of that. My daughter's name is Allison. That's A L L I S O N and record yourself on the following website bookroo.com after that you should save it and share the link on the discussion forum the idea is to get feedback all right now what I would like for us to do is we're going to work in pairs and I would like for you to practice the alphabet I want you to practice the alphabet All right, so I'm going to put Chamba, Alma, and Mejia together, Manuel and Marvin together, Carlos and Claudia together. Uh, we're going to put, I'm going to move, let me see, Mejia with Roxana, number four. Okay, Mejia with Roxana, Geraldina and Sochi, Eric with Ga. Fuentes, Nubia with Rox Hernandez, Maria with Rene. Practice the alphabet. Practice the alphabet. Are you ready? Yes. yes. I said, are yes. you ready? Yes. Yes. I said, yes. are yes. you ready? Is everybody ready? I want to see you ready. I'm ready. All right. Ready. I like that. I like that. That's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. Let's go. Click join or entrar. <laughs> Galaxy 10, what you doing? Let's go, Galaxy 10. Alvaro, where are you? Alvaro Hernandez. Hi. Hey, what's going on? How are you? I'm fine. Pero Álvaro eh, está en mute. What happened, Álvaro? What was going on, Álvaro? Are you there, Álvaro? Álvaro Herrera testing one, two, three. 
Alvaro Herrera. Testing one, Hello. two, three. Hey. Hi. Hi, what's going on? Hi. Hello, what's going on? Uh, I don't understand. What happened? <laughs> Teacher, ¿Qué quiere decir? Me... ¿Qué quiere decir GA? GA cabeza, ¿no? No, en su en su Ah, 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 mi, mi, ah. Eh, son mis iniciales, lo que pasa es que ahí yo no sé por qué salgo con mi con mi correo de la empresa, pero es G de Génesis, A de Alondra Fuentes Rodríguez. Oh, qué bonito nombre. Gracias. Teacher, ¿y el otro compañerito? ¿Con quién voy a practicar? ¿Con usted voy a practicar el...? Of course. <laughs> you can practice with me. Ok. Vamos ¿En serio? A ver. Voy a poner aquí a... Aquí está este muchacho, se me había perdido. And where do you work? Uh, where do you work? ¿A dónde trabaja? Uh, sí, ahora sí, ya lo entiendo. Se llama Intradesa. Oh, Intradesa. Yo trabajaba ¿Sí? en Intradesa. No le creo, ¿en serio? Sí, yo soy el que va a recoger los documentos eh, ahí a, por Intradesa, aquí por eh, la paseo, el paseo Beethoven, creo. Están las oficinas. Ah, sí, pero yo estoy ah, en el Boulevard del Ejército. Hola, Álvaro. Hello. Hello. Ah, Boulevard del Ejército. Hola, hola. Eso, es allá por, eso es allá por Plaza Mundo casi, ¿verdad? Cabal, por Plaza Mundo. Ahí, ahí estoy. Ah, ok. Si sí, yo trabajé ahí en la maquila. Esa es la maquila, ¿verdad? Right? Una gran maquila sí. ahí. Uh, enorme, pero yo estoy en el centro de distribución. Ah, ok. Yo trabajaba, yo estaba con finanzas en aquel tiempo. ¿Y hace cuánto fue? Como, hace como cuatro años. Llegábamos los sábados a dar clases ahí. De, sí, de 8 a, de 8 a 12. Super. Con finanza. Super. No, yo soy en el centro de distribución. Oh, ahí está toda la money, toda distribution center. Give me the money. Ah. Ahí está lo bueno. Oh, sí. All right. Sí. Ok, aquí la dejo con Alvaro. Voy a monitorearlos. Ok, bye. See you later. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Hi, Alvaro. Hi. In the cerebro, siento que me cuesta más. Es ese, no? Pero luego dijiste J. Oh, hey. Es Okay. Sí. Bueno. Me digo A B C D y me gusta F. hacer también el teléfono. G. Perdón. G. Sí. H. H. I. R. I. 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 Como I de dolor. I, J, K. Ah, ya. Ok, ajá. L, M, M, O, O, P, P, Q, R, S, S, T. ¿La T me dijo? T. T. Yeah. G. 
A R C I A. Correct. Creo que ahí están, ¿verdad? Ya, yo digo que ahí está. Que... Ya, lo, ya lo podemos. <ríe> Pero creo que cinco minutos, Bamber. Sí, sí. Bueno, en la práctica hemos los tres. Okay. Okay. A, B, C, D. Gentlemen, welcome back. How are you guys? Back in action. All right, let me have one volunteer. One volunteer, please. One volunteer, please. One. <laughs> All right, Hennessy, you are my volunteer. Everybody, please listen to Miss Hennessy's action. Eh, puede empezar con A. The alphabet. That's right. A, B, C. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. That's right. Applause for Miss Hennessy's, everybody. <laughs> Good job. Select somebody, Miss Hennessy's. Um, Mejia Castillo. All right. Mejia Castillo. <laughs> okay. Action. Perdón. Excuse me. A action. Va, sí. va a decir las letras, empezando con letter A. Ok, yo creo que okay. Mejía... ¿Está listo Mejía? Yes, yes. Ok, démosle. Una Q, A, M, I, O, P, Q, R, E, uh, is D U B uh, W X Y C. All right. Applause for Mr. Mejia. Okay. Íbamos a empezar con A, pero se nos adelantó un poquito. That's okay. Ah, pero es que... It's okay. Vamos con Luis Herrera. Empieza con A. Luis Herrera. Empieza con letter A. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, M, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, W, X, Y, Z. All right. Excellent. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Solo la H. H. Right. No, no H. 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 Correct. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, está bueno, guys. Vamos a parar con esta dinámica. Eh, quisiera saber si tienen alguna consulta. Ah, yo sé que anoche se nos agotó el tiempo y me estaban haciendo preguntas. Y todavía había un parcito de personas ahí que tenían la mano levantada, pero ya no me alcanzó el tiempo. Eh, si quieren, me pueden hacer la pregunta en este momento. Sobre el progreso de la plataforma, las notas, eh, los exámenes finales, el procedimiento de ingresos. Eh, yo tengo... Teacher, excuse me. Hello, Luis. Eh, sí, yo tengo una consulta con respecto a... Al, al progreso siempre uh -huh. y quedó una duda allí ¿Sí? eh, por ejemplo eh, en mi progreso eh, en, it is nice to meet you en un 25% de 100 dice. ok 
Ajá, pero ¿y, los, y el otro 75, usted decía de que es dependiendo de, 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 algún, de algún ejercicio que se haga, ¿verdad? That's right. Del número de oraciones que usted escriba en la plataforma. Eh, pero yo, yo escribí unas varias y no, no aumenta nada. ¿no? Ok, quiero que me tome un screenshot y me lo mande a mi WhatsApp privado. No lo mande al grupo, mándemelo a mí directamente. Porque, eh, perdón. ¿Todos, todos, ¿Todos tienen mi número del WhatsApp? Está en el grupo. Está en el grupo, se los voy a mandar aquí al chat. Cuando les pase algo así, que ustedes están como, mm, esto por qué no me lo tira así. 6308-59946. Ahí se los mandé al Zoom Group Chat. Usted le puede tomar una foto a, a eso. Y allí usted puede eh, mandármelo a mí y yo le puedo dar seguimiento. Por ejemplo, en, el, en, el, en, el, en, el, en los posesivos, uh, ahí en la, en la eh, lo que le cuenta es lo que se añade y se publica. Esa es mi duda. Sí, lo que usted publica, eso es lo que va a depender de cómo usted va avanzando. Va aumentando el número 75% versus el, 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 el pequeño examencito que aparece ahí. That is correct. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Ok. Hi, Nubia. A mí me pasa igual. Yo estuve escribiendo las oraciones y verifiqué mi progreso, pero no, no sé si es que... Yo solo, las escribí todas de una sola vez. No sé si estoy dando eh, chat y chat a cada rato o... O en, uno, en un solo yo puedo escribir que cinco o diez, digamos. ¿Cómo uh, es que? Uh, sí, tiene que ir uno por uno. Sección por sección. No es que va a escribir cinco acá, cinco allá y cinco acá. No. Tienen que ser cinco o diez en cada uno. Uh -huh. All right. Manuel Guevara, veo que tiene una pregunta. Sí, eh, yo hasta ahora pude ingresar a lo que era el, 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 la página de ingreso corporativo. Entonces, empecé con las actividades. Y, y, que es la primera tarea. Uh -huh. eh, y donde había que utilizar únicamente el, el, la de pues, que utilizar, eh, había que escuchar las conversaciones uh -huh. y colocar un chequecito en, en la que había deletreado correctamente. Oh, Pero okay. no, encuentro, no, no encuentro dónde es que hay que escribir las oraciones. Ah, all right. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Quién ya hizo esa sección? Levante la mano. Es la 1.2, me dice, ¿verdad? La 1.2 me dice eh, la sección 1. No, 1.4, la primera tarea que aparece. Ok, ¿quién hizo la 1.4? Levanta la mano. ¿Claudia? Ok, Claudia, mándele un uh, chat a Manuel y me lo actualiza, por favor. Manuel, te va a escribir a uh, Claudia por el chat, aquí en el Zoom okay. o en el WhatsApp. Uh, ok. All right. All right, guys. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and continue. We're going to be looking at the following section on the platform. Now, for the next section, what we're going to do is look at check spelling names. You're going to listen Va a escuchar la conversación, cinco conversaciones, y seleccione la opción correcta para cada uno. Conversación uno es J-O-N o J-O-N-H. 
conversation too. You spell it S-A-R-A -A or S-A-R-A-H. Conversation number three. Steven, S-T-E-V-E-N or S-T-E-P-H-E-N. Conversation number four. Catherine, K-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-E -E or K-A-T-H-R-Y-N. Conversation number five. Chris. Is it Chris K-R-I-S or is it Chris C-H-R-I-S? All right. So I'm going to give everybody five minutes. Les voy a dar cinco minutos so that you can work on this activity in pairs. Lo vamos a en pareja. In five minutes. When you finish, we're going to come back together. Vamos a regresar juntos. And we're going to check it. Y lo vamos a chequear. Do you understand? Do you have any questions? Does anybody have any questions? Okay. Let's go. Five minutes. Let's go. How do you spell the name? Listen and check the correct answers. Answers. One. Your name is John Lee? That's right. And how do you spell your first name, Mr. Lee? It's J O N. Okay. Thank you. La primera. Sarah Brennan. Your first name is spelled S A R A H? No. My name is spelled S A R A. Primera, I'm sorry. Could you P H E N. That's right. Four. Your name, please. It's Catherine Simpson. Is that K A T H E R I N E? No, it's K A T H R Y N. Oh, mm -hmm. so it's K A T H R Y N. Thank you, Miss Simpson. La segunda, uh, sí. And what's your first name, please? It's Chris. Is your name spelled C-H-R-I-S? No, it's spelled K-R-I-S. Chris with a K. Chris with a K. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Sí, yo las había llenado antes también. Sí, es... Siento que me cuesta más cuando las escucho de alguien de nosotros que de ellos. <risa> es cierto. Como no, 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 no pronunciamos. Bien, ¿verdad? Ajá. Esa de ser. Ajá, yo, yo también creo eso. <risa> pues, ¿Y tu nombre cuál es? ¿Deletreando? Es G I N I S I S. ¿Y el suyo? A-L-M-A. 
<ríe> es bien, bien, pa. <ríe> y el last name. Um, Q, U. Ay, siempre me equivoco con esta letra. I. No, A. A espérame, I, I, I. Siempre me equivoco con la I, la E, no. pero es la I. <ríe> G. A. D. A. Quiero ver, lo voy a tratar de escribir. Sí, no casi a... nunca se puede, si no, no lo va escribiendo, ¿verdad? Ajá. Q. Ajá. U, 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 I, J, 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 A, D, A, D, A, D. 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 A. Quijada. Ajá. <risa> sí, sí. Vaya, ahora yo. Vamos a ver. Dale. Vaya. E. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál? E. U. Ajá. I. Ajá. N. T. I. Ajá. S. La primera es F. F. Repítelo. Es. No, F. F. Ay, es que no. F. Ah, F. Fu fuentes. Sí. Ah, ok. <risa> Por donde me quedaba que había otra. <risa> Yo decía, qué raro, ¿no? <risa> Pero ya como es. Se ha de haber escuchado. <risa> sí, yo decía, bueno, como todo es posible, ¿verdad? <risa> Tanto apellido que hay. All right, all right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Let me see. We're going to check the first one. We're going to be checking the work on the platform. Let me have the first one, please. Number one, Mejia Castillo. Conversation number one, Mejia Castillo. Um. Es, eh, segunda opción J O O N H All right, Mejia, excellent. Number two, conversation number two, Nubia. <coughs> conversation number two, Nubia. Sara, S A R A. Excellent. Thank you. Roxy, number three. S, excuse me. S, E, S, E, N. All right. S, T, E, V, E, N. S, T, E, P, H, E, N. Okay. Conversation number four. Eric Estrada. Um, Chris. C no, no, no. Uh, Catherine, number four. Catherine. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yes. K E T I H I R A N E. All right. K A T H E R I N E. Very good. Eric. Rene, number five, conversation number five. Rene. All right, Maria Elena, conversation number five. Maria Elena. Chris. C H R I S. C H R I S. <clears throat> Perfect. Very good, ladies and gentlemen. What? <laughs> what? No. Uh, uh, K R I S. <laughs> Catherine. Oh, come on, man. Uh, it's, um, oh. Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, J O N. Oh, no. All right. Let's check again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 
Okay, so number one is J O N. Two S A R A. Conversation three, Stephen S T E P H E N. Conversation four, K A T H R Y N. And conversation five is K R I S. Teacher, one question. Yeah. A conversation four. Yes. Con la Y tengo problemas si es why o why. ¿Cómo así? Why o why? No, why. Why o why. No, no, sin H. Sin H. No, why, como huayua. No, así uh -huh. no. Es why. 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 That's right. Like that. Why. Why. That's right. No, why? No, no, no. Why? Why? Sin la H. Why? Sin la H. Thank you, Luis. Anybody else have another question? One more question. Somebody have a question. Anybody have a question? Nobody. Okay. Let us move forward. Now, at this moment, what I would like for us to do is uh, we're going to be moving on and we're going to be looking at section number 1.8. By the end of this class, you will learn how to form statements and questions using the verb to be. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán cómo formar oraciones y preguntas usando el verbo to be, ser o estar. So, antes que veamos el video y nos metamos a, al video, primeramente quiero explicarles qué es el verbo to be o el ser o estar. Por ejemplo, si yo te digo en español, yo soy salvadoreño. I am Salvadorian. ¿Cuál es el verbo to be en esa oración? I am Salvadorian. ¿Cuál es el, cuál es el verbo to be de cero estar? Am. 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 That's am. right. That's right. Si yo, tú quieres decir, yo soy inteligente. I am Intelligent. ¿Cuál es el verbo to be? ¿Cuál es el verbo to be? Am. 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 Si yo te quiero decir, él es contento. ¿Cómo le voy a decir? He, 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 is, he is happy. He is happy. ¿Y cuál es el verbo to be? Is. 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 Si yo te digo, ella es bella. ¿Cómo le voy a decir? She is pretty. Beautiful. She is pretty or she is beautiful. Beautiful. ¿Y cuál es el verbo to be? Is. 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 Si yo te digo, ellos son energéticos. <coughs> They are, They are energetic. energetic. Very good. Energetic. They are energetic. ¿Cuál es el verbo to be? Are. 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 So quiero que noten que el verbo to be cambia. <coughs> cambia de am a is a are. ¿Ok? ¿En qué situación voy a usar el am? En primera persona. That's right. En primera persona singular. I. Yo. I am. Solamente. ¿Y en qué situación voy a utilizar el is? En tercera persona. En tercera persona singular. Para él o ella. That's right. Él es, ella es. He is, she is. ¿Y cuándo voy a usar el verbo? It, it también. It, it is. It, it, it is. is. That's right. It is. Digamos, mi perro. It Aracota. is. A rock. Weiler, va. Sería para cosas. Weiler. 
para cosas. It is a PlayStation. So, puede ser para animales y para cosas. All right, let's listen to the video at this moment, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go ahead and listen to the video. So, everybody, please pay attention. Ding, 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 ding. Pay attention right now. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form statements and questions using the verb to be. Let's get started by looking at the image on your screen. I would like to start by explaining the verb to be, which corresponds to each pronoun. As you can see, towards the left hand side of the chart, you can see the pronoun I, that will be equals to M, for the pronouns you, we, and they, you're going to use are. And for the pronouns he, she, and it, then uh, we're going to use is. So um, if we look at the examples, I'm Jennifer Miller. This is the same thing as saying, I am Jennifer Miller. You can see the meaning of those contractions towards the right, right hand side of the screen. Now let's try to make sense of this by looking at the examples on the chart. I'm Jennifer Miller. You're in my class. She's in our class. Jennifer is in our class. He's over there. Steven is over there. It's my math book. It's Miller. My last name is Miller. In order to understand this, you need to follow this particular rule that I'm going to display here um, on this document. Let me just change the size. One second. All right. Uh, and we're going to try to make sense of it, right? The subject uh, or pronoun is the first thing that we're going to have in order to form sentences. So, for example, I is a subject. And as we saw here, we can see that the verb to be to use whenever we use the pronoun or the subject I will be am. I am. And the complement is just other words that are used. So for example, I am Joe. So we got a subject, the verb to be, and then some kind of complement. Uh, let's give a, another example. I, uh, the verb to be, I am. And what is the complement to that? I'm going to say an English teacher. OK, let me give another example. Uh, now I'm going to um, give an example with he. He is the subject of our sentence. Uh, and um, if you remember uh, for that, we're going to use the verb to be is. He is. And we're going to say uh, Mario. That's his name. Um, he. Then we're going to say he is um, a mechanic. He is. at work. Uh, let me go ahead and give an example with the pronoun they uh, and they are my co-workers. Now let's learn how to form yes or no questions using the verb to be. Let's look at this example that, that you see here on this chart. Are you Stephen Carson? That's a question. The way you respond to that question is by saying, yes, I am, or no, I'm not. Uh, then there's one last question there. How are you? We're going to focus on forming this yes and no questions using the verb to be. As I explained previously, 
um, I'll show you how to form statements using the verb to be, where we use the subject, the verb to be, and the complement. Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to do we're going to follow something very similar, with the exception that we're going to form questions. So I'm going to copy this formula that I show you, and I'm going to paste it here because I want you to see the relation between the two. What we're going to do essentially is we're going to move this verb to be before the pronoun. Okay, so we're going to move this verb to be before the pronoun, and that's how you form questions. Um, so look at the example. Are you Stephen Carson? We move the verb to be before the pronoun you. Okay, so our formula needs to change. Uh, now, instead of uh, the subject at the beginning, we're going to say that that's the verb to be at the beginning. And then we're going to say that that's the uh, subject uh, or the pronoun, okay? And then it's going to follow some kind of complement. So we're going to take the same examples here and simply change the order. And that's basically how we form questions. Um, so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here at the bottom. Um, and as I mentioned, what we're going to do is we're going to change the verb to be to the beginning and we're going to put the pronoun there. So let's look at that. This one changes here. And there we go. So the first question is, am I Joe? Yeah, obviously you need to change things like spelling at the beginning with capitals. Am I Joe? Okay. Um, and the next one, I am an English teacher. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the order and I'm going to say, am I an English teacher? All right, and then we put a question mark at the end. So how would we form the next one? Um, he is Mario. Okay, if I want to ask the question, I'm going to change the verb to be to the beginning. And I'm going to say, is he Mario? Okay. Is he uh, mechanic is is he at work are they my co-workers now what I would like for you to do is to give some examples of your own. All right. Now what we're going to do is you're going to give me 10 examples here in the discussion forum. 10 examples in the discussion forum. You're going to have 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Ready and action. You're going to work in pairs. Work in pairs. I'm going to put Roxana with Roxy, Manuel with Sochi, Chamba and Rene, Alma and Nubia. Luis and Mejia, Alvaro and Eric, Genesis and Geraldine, Marvin and Claudia. Are you ready? Let's go.
Um, ok, vamos a practicar este formulando oraciones, ¿verdad? Sí. Vale. Lo que no entendí, perdón, si era hacerlas tipo pregunta o nada más como los primeros ejemplos que él dio. I am, she is. Pues, Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about that. Eh, tuve que romper los grupos porque acaban de ingresar otras personas. Y no los podía dejar afuera. So, vamos a recrear los grupos. Eh, solo que quería clarificar lo que vamos a hacer. Me van a dar 10 preguntas con 10 respuestas. Por ejemplo, si vos vas a decir, ¿Soy un doctor? ¿Am I a doctor? Right? Do you understand? ¿Am I intelligent? ¿Are you intelligent? ¿Is he intelligent? Am I beautiful? Am I handsome? Are you beautiful? Are you handsome? Yes, he is. No, he's not. Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Just like that. Do you, do you understand? Yes. All right. So you're going to give me 10 questions and 10 answers using are you, is he, is it, are they, are we. You have 10 minutes. All right. Let's go. Ah, sí, no, sí, porque, vaya, porque, por ejemplo, yo eh, lo leí en la tarde y yo lo hice en la tarde antes de entrar al... Ajá, yo también ya lo hice, pero como el chico dice que entre más hagamos mejor, pongamos los dos nombres entonces, ¿verdad? Oh. Are you... Mal... Y... Luego sería, la, la pregunta sería, ¿Are you a mechanic? ¿O am I a mechanic? Creo que así sería, ¿verdad? Are, I am, you, uh, are you a mechanic? 
si, 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 me, si me hago la pregunta, eh, digamos, ¿a ti mismo? ¿Sería? ¿Sería ser? I, am I a mechanic? O am si, I, no, am um, I a mechanic? mechanic. Uh -huh. Entonces, la ponemos así. Um, I am mechanic. Am I? Mm -hmm. Mechanic. Yeah. Ya, pero creo que hay que, hay que, hay que publicarlas. Eh, en la plataforma. Una, sí, una por una o todas en una sola publicación. Todas en una sola. Ah, ok, ok. Ok, uh, okay eh, tu turno. Vaya, eh, he is very smart. He is very, very smart. smart. Uh -huh. Y la otra is... Is very is he very smart? Sí. Es la pregunta, ¿verdad? Is he very, very smart? Ok. Eh, voy yo. Eh, sería. Eh, he is a uh, actress. He is. Uh, actress. Actress, creo que se escribe. Actress es A C T R E A S S. Actress o actress. ¿Cómo se escribe actress? No, no. A C T R E S S. S S. Ah, correcto. Actress. Actress. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y la pregunta sería es, ¿is she a actress? Uh -huh. All right, all right, everybody, welcome back. At this moment, do you have any questions? Any questions at this moment? No? All right, if you are not finished, that's going to be your homework. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Bye.